Hey guys, what's up? I'm here to do another DVD review, and this is another horror movie. Um, I just did a video response to a, a Kill Rodan about remakes, so go check that out if you haven't. But doing that video response got me in the mood to do a, a review about this movie that I watched last night. Yeah, and uh, I remember how much I love this movie, and I just wanted to review it for you guys real quick. All right, so this movie I'm reviewing is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake. Now, I'm not going to say which one's better, the original or this one, because I don't know. Um, but I have noticed that the more, like, I watch the originals, and, like, as time goes, they grow on me. So, I mean, I'm not going to say which one's better, because I really don't know. But I really love this movie. Produced by Michael Bay, directed by uh, Marcus Mispel, who directed Friday 13th Remake. And the Pathfinder movie. And uh have all these are the only three movies he's done. And I didn't even know that until my friend told me the other day. So I mean Alright, so he told me the other day and I didn't know that and I already had them all, so that's cool. But I also heard he's directing the movie Conan the Barbarian, which I'll definitely go see now that I know he's I got those movies from him. But um alright, so this is this uh like deluxe edition, super deluxe edition or whatever of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um Alright, so I know that uh, Shibley182 has uh, opened this on uh, camera, but I'll go ahead and do it just in case you haven't seen it inside. But this was definitely worth buying. I picked it up for like three bucks or something used, but everything plays fine. I picked it up from Movie Stop, so go check it out if you haven't. But um, alright, so here's the slides out. Come with this, come with this uh, tin thing, which is the same as the cover. I think it goes. On here, or that's how it was originally. I don't know, that's just what I think, but I like it peeled off better anyway. I just kind of came like that, but oh well. Okay, so then it opens like this. You see, fix the chainsaw. Opens like this. Two did. Disc one, disc two. Then it has this evidence thing, which I'll show you in a minute. So it's like a, there's a chapter list right here. Chainsaw on the back has the extras, and it's the same chainsaw design. All right, so show you guys the evidence uh, photo, which is just photos from the movie and uh, pictures the chainsaw, the fingers, leather face, the meat hammer. This is. You see on camera, I think it's teeth. Uh, the fingernail marks on the wall from the walkthrough in the beginning. Broken glasses. That uh, happens when the sheriff takes the wine bottle to the kid's face and like, or beer bottle or whatever it was, to the kid's face and breaks, busts his teeth out and stuff. Uh, eye lashes. And as all the photos on the back, they have this like. I, don't, I know you can't read that, but I mean, I just want to show you. This is like evidence and goes through case number, agency, suspect, victim. So it pretty much tells you who it's from and stuff, which is it's really cool, especially if you're a big DVD collector. That's a really cool thing to have, and I was really excited about because I didn't know exactly what was in this when I bought it, but um, I just knew that I really that it was worth buying for like three bucks. But I really ended up loving this edition, and um, that's the inside of it. Alright, and I know you can't probably, you can't read these, but I just wanted to show you the feature list like I do. And I know you can't read, but that's a pretty good amount of features. Okay, so now I'll start talking about the movie now. I talked about the uh, DVD. Okay, this stars Jessica Biel, uh, Jonathan Tucker. Who play, uh, Jessica Biel plays in Summer Catch. She plays in Seventh Heaven the TV show. Jonathan Tucker plays in uh, The Ruins. Uh, Erica Learson. Uh, she plays in, I think, The Blair Witch 2, uh, and Wrong Turn 2, and also stars Mike Vogel, Eric Belfer, Arlie, Ermy. and uh, I don't know who the guy is, but the sheriff, I don't know his name, I probably just read it, but he's really funny, and I really like him, and this one, the beginning, and uh, 
And uh, Saving Silverman's another movie he plays in. He's really funny. But yes, I love it. So, uh, so the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is pretty much this one is about. It's kind of a different story from the original. Uh, this one, a bunch of kids are going to a Leonard Skinner concert and they're passing through, I think, Texas. And uh, they pick up this hitchhiker who, like, I don't want to say anything about it, but pretty much the hitchhiker does something which leaves him stranded there and they have to go into the woods and find a, a to Well, they're, like, stranded in the middle of nowhere. So they go walking to find a phone and call the sheriff and stuff and then Leatherface finds him and goes after him. Sorry, I'm not telling you much about the... Uh, Movie, but I really don't want to ruin this for anybody who hadn't seen it. I kind of feel like in my other reviews, I'm telling you too much. Um, so I don't know. Sorry if I'm not telling you enough. But uh, all right. Now this one, Texas Chainsaw: The Beginning. It's not as good as the remake, the original remake. But this one was an alright movie. Um, you definitely, definitely want to watch this if you've seen this one because this one goes back and it tells you all about um. Like how everything happened. Shows you how the sheriff lost the teeth. Shows you how Leatherface was born. This just pretty much gives you the backstory, which I really like. I really liked how I did. I mean, it's not the best movie in the world. It could have been better, but I mean, it's a really good movie to have in your collection, especially if you are a big fan of Texas Chainsaw movies. Now this one it stars the uh, sheriff. I don't know his name, but this one also stars Joanna Brewster, who played in um, Fast and Furious. I can't really read the back here because it's really dark. And Arlie Ermey, that must be uh, the sheriff. But yeah, I mean, really good movie. And I really, really love love this movie. Like, really love this movie. So definitely check this one out if you have not seen it. Because it was just really good, in my opinion. Um, and this was a very scary movie. I mean, I know the original is classic and everything, but this was a really good remake. And Marcus Nispel just did a great job with this. And I love this movie. So definitely check this one out if you haven't seen it. Or if you've seen the original and you're like, that can't be as good, just watch it and you'll see because this is a really great movie to me. So if you've seen my movie, uh, my DVD collection updates and DVD collection reviews and stuff, and you agree with my taste in movies, definitely check this one out. I really like it. And if you really like that movie and you haven't seen this one yet, the beginning, definitely check that one out because it gives you a good backstory and everything. Don't buy it, just rent it or watch it online or something because it's a really good movie. And it's definitely worth seeing just to see how everything kind of happened. And kind of like how on Halloween, Rob Zombie's Halloween, he uh, kind of gave you a backstory on Michael. That's what this is, a backstory on Leatherface. So uh, definitely check it out. I really enjoy both these movies a lot. And I'd, uh, I watch them frequently. And I need to watch this one again. I haven't seen it in a while, but I watched this one last night and just remembered why I loved it so much. So definitely check that one out if you haven't seen it, and definitely check that one out if you haven't seen it. So those are the two Texas Chainsaw the remakes, and once I get the uh, older, the 74 Texas Chainsaw, and I think the 80-something Texas Chainsaw 2, I'll probably get Texas Chainsaw 3. I'm not getting 4 because 4 was horrible. It was just, oh man, that movie sucks so much. But I'll probably get the first three, and I'll probably do another video on those. But those are the Texas Chainsaws that have the remakes, and I really... Enjoy this movie. So if you haven't seen them, definitely check them out. Leave a uh, comment or whatever. Tell me if you like if you like how I did these this review or the other reviews better. Because uh, I'm not exactly sure how much I should be telling you guys about the movies. I don't want to ruin it for people. So uh, just leave me comments and stuff, feedback on how I'm doing. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.